Ladies and gentlemen, welcome you Virgos. It is the energy vibration reading for the Virgo Sun, Moon, and Rising sign. I want to say thank you for being here. You Virgos, thank you for returning. Um, this is the month of June and it is your month. It is uh, the energy of, uh, for you guys, it is your month. Um, the energies that is in this month is really positive um, for you Virgos because you're aligning the month to, to bring balance. So this is good. Ooh, there's a new start, you Virgos. Bam! A lot of people are receiving a new start. So whatever is happening and whatever is transpiring, you Virgos are definitely having a new start. Whatever the situation is, whatever that is pain, there is definitely a new start coming up for you, Virgos. Okay, so let's see what's in the second week. Ha <laughs> ha! You Virgos. <laughs> okay, third week. Damn, damn, you Virgos. Fourth week, a transition. <laughs> Okay, all right, you Virgos, listen to your intuition. Whatever is happening in this month, you Virgos, listen to your intuition, okay? There is secrets, there is a secret. There is someone who is returning in your life, but this person is returning in your life. There are some secrets. This person knows something. This person is up to no good, okay? It is a soulmate or a twin flame. They're returning in your life and they want a new start. Um, because of something they know something that you are not aware of whoever these Virgos is whoever is returning in your life as a Virgo they know something someone wants a new start with you Virgos or some situation is could be that an organization someone some situation wants a new start with you Virgos whatever this new start is someone knows something and they want to do something someone knows something but it's not gonna happen that shit it's not gonna happen you Virgos <laughs> it's not gonna happen okay so again there is a new start someone wants to return you wants to return someone wants to return someone is returning to you because they want a new start but there is a reason now success if it is the right because it's a twin flame it's definitely a twin flame or a soulmate that is returning this relationship could be good but you're not trusting it okay and there is a transition that is coming in and it's coming at the end of the month okay it could be good because the, the 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 energy of the sun and the debt is here and first there is success there is happiness there's joy everything and then there is transition so whatever the situation is whoever is returning it could work out definitely I'm seeing this it could work out could work out but hmm why let's see what is the scent of your month and then we know exactly what is going on so we're calling up on the angels and guides of the Virgos to come in and let's see what is happening again this is, has happened with other decks that this energy is coming out so in the first week going in the second week um, there is definitely hardship um, and you're deciding to move away there's some hardship that some of you are going to be dealing with um, in the first week going in the second week with a relationship and you're going to decide to leave a relationship for some of you someone could be returning or you could be returning to someone because of a hardship you're feeling hardship and this is why you want to reconnect with this person in the second week going in the third week there is a situation with the king of cups now whoever this king of cups is for you women um it is the right person 
so the center of this month is around um, a Pisces cancer or a scorpion and this person could be returning to you or you are reconnecting with this person you Virgos but it is the right relationship it is a relationship that is going to last for a long time the third week going in the fourth week you have this energy um, coming in where, where there's a transition you win the shit you Virgos. <laughs> you Virgos oh my god you won you won you Virgos oh my god this is just so good you Virgos you won whatever the situation is listen um I get the same God don't like ugly there was something that played there was a nasty little uh, something some shit played out you have win you Virgos I, I, you know this is your month you can make it or break it in this month you Virgos whatever is transpiring you win the shit because in the last week in the third week going in the second week is the Sun you have won you have won you Virgos you have won there was a conflict there could be a conflict with the king of cups you have won some of you are um some of you are going to hardship in a relationship it could be that you're married and you have someone else on the side and you're really whoo shit okay all right okay i'm getting the energy of uh, Wendy and her husband here um, let's let that go so you could be returning to a Pisces cancer or a scorpion because this is the energy that is around you it can be a man it can be a woman but the center if you left this person they are going to be winning over you because the success is coming over this person whatever is transpiring let's see five of Pentacles new la bam you Virgos bam 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 <laughs> oh, oh my god okay you Virgos I'm this is the first time I'm laughing through any of these readings since I've started doing these readings whatever the situation is and whatever is transpiring I hate the, the thing is that my face look lean okay so you Virgos bam 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 soulmate twin flame relationship some of you are going back to someone who is a Pisces cancer or a scorpion some of you who have been going through some hardship who have walked away from a situation bam <laughs> you Virgos always make me do this new love is coming in whatever is transpiring new love is coming in you Virgos OMG let's see what else is coming up in the third week damn 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 but you're walking away from this <laughs> okay. okay all right some some of you new love is coming in but you're walking away from this it's as if you're not be it's as if this if it could be you or could it be the person but it's as if the eight of cups is you this new love is coming for you but you are moving forward so it says hmm mm, you didn't want me and then all of a sudden you want me something is going on you turn your back on me you didn't see me as the person who I wanted to be with but now you're coming back what is happening this is a twin flame from a past lifetime whatever has transpired in the in the time before when you were involved with this person this person could be coming from a past life but this cursed person you could have been in a relationship or been in contact with this person somehow whatever the situation is it what they uh, you know they could have said you know well this is not what i wanted whatever but this person is coming in fast to you and they're coming back is because why they're coming back is because they're in hardship they are in hardship and this is the reason why they're coming back 
there is um, an older man that is sending them to you whoever this older man is it could be a relative and it's as if he's saying are you stupid why did you um, walk away from that person or why didn't you let that person help you it's that sort of a thing that is coming up and this older person I think this older person really cares about you I think that this older person know that you would be a good influence in the person life and it's as if they choose to walk away because they are not in balance but they're coming back and the reason why they're coming back is because they're feeling hardship it could be someone who said are you crazy this person um, was good for you why in God's name did you walk away from this person whoever this person is whether it's a woman whether it's a man this could be someone who is a family member or someone who you're very close to that is saying hey are you stupid you know you have made you have made the wrong decision you should try and connect to this person so you are there is a, either you are going back to someone or someone is coming back to you but the only reason they're doing this is because they're in hardship the outcomes bam 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 I love praise <laughs> you Virgos it's your month to do anything you want to do bam you Virgos I love you guys so much I have Virgo moon sign rising sign so I do connect with you Virgos and um, what I'm realizing the last time is that Sun moon and rising sign is is more connecting with other people so whatever is transpired this is really funny shit that is coming up but you're gonna be celebrated at the end of the month it's gonna be a month of celebration for you Virgos I can't re wait to read your love readings you Virgos because some shit is about to happen <laughs> okay all right let's bring this down let's bring this down some of you Virgos if your um, parents or because th there is an ill in uh, with children uh, parents and parents and their kids in this month you're bringing balance to relationship with parents and kids you Virgos so whatever the situation is and whatever that is transpiring you're really bringing a balance to a situation okay so what is transpiring is that someone is coming towards you and some of you are walking away from a twin flame relationship and why you're walking away from this twin flame relationship is because it's hard it's hard it's hard it is it's working it's a hard relationship and I this is what I say to a lot of twin flames and so many it's a hard relationship and some of you are walking towards new love and you're gonna be happy that you make the decision to turn your back on your marriage your relationship and go towards this new person so again this is sounding like Wendy and her shit but girlfriend it was the best thing you have ever done so you left your marriage and walked away and now you're having some hardship with this new love that you're having there's a lot of celebration but some hardship is happening for you so what is going to be happening is that you're going to be turning your back from the person who you left your wife from and trying to go back to your wife but it's not going to happen because your wife is saying bam 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 it ain't happening okay so um definitely Pisces or cancer they're saying you know bam bam you made your choice and you could be the one who is winning but there is definitely a transition that is coming in the center of this reading is all around the energy of parents the energy of relationship with these um, Pisces cancer or scorpion people whatever is happening you have you know you have won whatever is transpiring but listen some of you could be having a situation with a scorpion and you're going to be winning and walking away and celebrating so some of you in the last week um, or sometimes in the month could be dealing with a scorpion and you have won you have slated the shit and you have won you are walking 
away okay you're walking away um, and it could be um, just a conflict between you and a scorpion and you're walking away celebration boom there is going to be a lot of celebration that is happening okay but I want to um, align you guys with something whatever the situation that is happening whatever is happening you are dealing um, whoever is coming in your life is not coming back because of love they're coming back because they know that you have what it takes to make them a success it's like um, friends for benefits okay so don't let them bullshit you all right you know exactly why this person is returning so we have the energy of the fool going on a journey the five of Pentacles and the lovers and here it is you have the six of um, the six of swords which mean you decide to leave this relationship so some of you decide to leave your marriage or already and then you are walking away because it's very it's a hardship it can be your marriage but it can be a soulmate relationship that was very hard you have decided in the months before and now in the first week of June you decide finally I'm ending this I'm moving away okay okay the lovers king of cups and the Sun BAM lovers king of cups and the Sun now there is an intrusion in your relationship and this is someone who is an Gemini Libra Aquarian Gemini or Libra or it could be people in authority and in power be aware of this relation of this situation okay so some of you could be um, you are connected with someone but there is something either you need something documentation whatever but you need something whatever it is that you need and whatever it is that is transpiring there is an invasion of your privacy and it has to do with an Aquarius Gemini or Libra or someone in power the energy of the Sun is here with a five of swords and the devil and the, the debt what is this all about huh what is this all about it has to do with the night of one and this is what I'm saying to you now whoever is dealing with um, um, this is a family member for some of you it could be and uh, an uncle or um, a father figure or a brother or whoever this person is but they have um, in intervene in a relationship that you had you, you you were in love with someone and this came up last year you were in love with someone you have met your twin flame and your soulmate someone had intervened someone with power paid you to do something and this is a um, this person who in power that paid you to do something ruined your relationship because they weren't aware that you were in love with this person and you knew that this person was your twin flame or soulmate you were in love with this person it was the the moments that you spent with this person was the best thing that has ever transpired in your life but some situation and some people intervene now this new love is coming back and it could be you because you're in some hardship you're coming back and to the oh fucking hell okay um ladies and gentlemen if you are 45 years and older you ladies uh, um, um, ladies 45 years and older someone who is a Pisces cancer or a scorpion who is 45 years and older is returning in your life this person you could have been married to this person and the marriage was over and uh, they are returning in your life this person some of you ladies 45 years and older I can't wait to see your your reading because ladies 45 years and older years new love coming in some of you could be receiving message um, that um, a baby has been born or there's gonna be a baby some situation like that where um, you could be receiving an older person or um, someone could be letting you know one of your child letting you know that um, 
they're pregnant and that sort of a situation but definitely um, a situation is coming in listen um, some of you who are in twin flame and soulmate relationship especially if you're in the relationship with a Pisces cancer or a scorpion there was someone else that you were seen that is an Aquarian Gemini or Libra get this person out of your life because they're going to create a havoc in your life okay all right the king of cups the eight of cups and the victory <laughs> i don't know i'm thinking about wendy i don't know why a new start new journey okay so a new start the fool the energy of the zero the universe is speaking to you guys to say take um go for a new start um whatever is transpiring uh, some of you if you are in a relationship with a Pisces cancer or a scorpion return to this person they are your true love um, you could be returning to them because I'm seeing you add walk away and you're returning to them uh, whew, so um, some of you are who are dealing um, you ladies there's definitely new love that is coming in for you and this is from the Pisces cancer or scorpion but um I'm seeing a new start for you in this relationship so there is a Pisces cancer or scorpion out there that is your true soulmate and your true love um, I'm seeing a new start for you with this person whatever has transpired it didn't work out but it's in th this time it's definitely going to be working out so celebration eight of pentacles so there is a celebration at work there's a celebration over your work um good positive things especially for the people who work and have business it's going to be really powerful really positive there are positive alignments of energy that is coming in you're ending the month celebrating whatever it is that has transpired in this month you're going to be ending the month celebrating i love this energy for you guys you guys are really rocking um this month it is your month because you um govern the energy and the situation that happened in this month so congratulations i'm seeing some of you celebrating returning to the love of your life i'm seeing some of you um cutting out someone out of your life totally and this was an older person um and um you're moving away from this person whoever this person is they had no really positive energy and you're moving away from this person okay so um this is a situation that is coming up and that is working out in the good favor um now as we go to the the extended of this reading you are going to be receiving um, six cards but you have to only choose one card okay so this is the first first two of the six cards choose one of this energy as you choose one of this energy this is the energy that you're going to be working with this is the deck of the Buddha wisdom it is a new deck so I always have to look at the name to remember and um, if you choose card one it is uh, the number 12 energy um, it is the lion head and it is old age brings wisdom and phrase certain <laughs> because whatever is happening with you people for five years and older mm -hmm, a lot of you are returning to past love so I guess after many years of you know understanding and growing and understanding what life is all about a lot of you are reconnecting with twin flames and soulmate from the past so some of you could be going back to people who you were new in and basic school college high school and that sort of a thing because you have learned something and it says all age bring wisdom exactly what is happening if you choose card two it is the brilliant mind of you sesame it's the goddess of long life the goddess of long life and it's the part of intelligence see 
can yield a long life the part of intelligency can yield a long life and this is what is happening this is what is transpiring because what you are aware of and aligned and understanding is that the part of intelligent intelligence is going to yield a very very long life for you not even knowing that so this is good because whoever has one as decision is as if some of you were dealing with an Aquarius Gemini or Libra and you have won the battle against this person you have definitely won the battle against this person okay so we have two energies mm, 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 mm. and this is the energy from your animal spirit guides I swear this is two cards ladies and gentlemen okay I guess the universe is telling me Oh, okay because I know this is two cards so these are the animal spirit that is here this and there's a lot of people that you're dealing with and there's a lot of returning people returning in your life that means um, that you're bringing balance to relationships soulmate relationships so if you choose the first card there is definitely trans transformation that is coming in and you have the energy of the heart spirit it said let spirit be your guides let spirit be your guides and act really serious um, you Virgos have to let spirit be your guides in this month okay listen to your own inner wisdom and guide do not let anyone talk you in anything because you're right on track with the money with well, the person who is coming back is because they're in hardship and that is the reason why they're coming back okay so the other energy is the groundhog spirit time to let go <laughs> okay not saying anything just saying just saying the ground of the spirit if you have chosen this card it is letting you know that it's time to let go of a situation whatever the situation whatever is happening um, some of you whoever chooses this card whatever situation you're holding on to it could be a work situation in relationship relationship it could be issues that you're dealing with it's time to let go let go and let God let go and let God let go and let God okay so we are having the two last energies again choose one card choose one card okay if you choose this card it is the gold and silver violet coat you have chosen this card of perfect um, harmony when you balance your wisdom and power giving and receiving your connection with the holy heart and the seven heaven it offers you the courage to love this makes you magnetic to people animals and situation so that you can connect with them um, for a highest good their guidance is to bring yourself into harmony and balance then realize yourself wearing a gold and silver coat so that you can draw in angel synchrony to purify the energy around you expect the unexpected miracles a miraculous resolution is here i am in total balance and harmony and i swear if i was gonna write what was your month was about it would be i am in total balance and harmony because this is exactly what the reading is pulling up because what you guys are doing is balancing out also other people experience and this is what is showing up as we move forward we have master macro master macro is one of those new ascendance masters that is coming in master macro he is and he has the energy of uh, um, he's an he's, he's one of these new ascendance masters he's from a totally different um, a solar system master macro represent the highest galactic confederation of solar energy and solar sources okay 
and what is happening is that uh, um wisdom knowledge um he um allies with the commander ashra of the intergalactic fleet and a lot of people if you're not aware there is an intergalactic fleet of uh, universal beams that is not from the solar system that comes and protect the solar system from outside invaders okay and yes i'm sure someone out there is thinking ooh loony well you got to go educate yourself <laughs> okay so <laughs> he also assists um um um, sent um, sent um, Eleanor Il on the fifth ray of technology okay sent Illyrian works with a fifth ray of technologies okay and knowledge to enable people to expand their eye mental abilities and somebody out there who think I was a little bit kooky a while ago that's what this card is about if you choose this card okay so you need to um, really um, open up your intellectual ability science and knowledge and enabling people to expand their eye mental abilities and develop spiritual technologies for future okay for humanity your guidance is to open up your mind communicate and connect with other star system and universe and ask um, ascendance Marco to assist and protect you as you the site on your journey I am open to wisdom from the stars okay so if you choose this card is about time that you connect with um, uh, master Marco and he's gonna help you to help you to understand there is uh, more information I am open to the wisdom from the stars that means we are not the only one in this solar system this solar system is the not the only one there are billions of solar system and you need to go out there educate yourself and don't think that I'm a loony because here is the card to show you ladies and gentlemen I love your readings um, you Virgos I so so love your readings now the love readings are going to be coming out I want to really want to see your love readings you Virgos because some shit is about to um, hit the fence here in the month of June and I want to see um, it's not a way of cutting away BS is that a lot of people are returning or people are leaving or people are returning and balance is coming in but you're coming out very strong you are coming in um, very strong okay um, whatever project whatever work whatever that you're working on at work you're going to be celebrating big time it's going to be good I'm going to be wishing you guys a wonderful month please leave a message namaste until next time